All right, good morning, YouTubers. Um, today, I'm going to process all of my used filters. This is a uh, this is all my filters from from uh, gold production. So, and and all anything else that might have gold on it, any paper towels I've used to wipe up spills, any anything that might possibly have gold on it, I have three mason jars full of this stuff. And, and they're just stuffed as full as they can be. So I, it's time to process it. In fact, it won't all fit in this frying pan. So I've got, I've got, I got most of another mason jar to go. So I'm gonna try and cook this stuff down. It's, it's all wet. It's all soaking wet. So I'm gonna try drying it out and incinerating it. It's a good morning for it because there's no wind. So I don't want the wind blowing the ashes around because the ashes are gonna have the gold in it. So it's, it's on the fire, it's starting to heat up. I'll stir it around and dry it out and incinerate it. And then once the bulk goes down a little bit, I'll, I'll add the rest of it to it. And uh, then uh, once this is all ashed, I'll process the ashes and we'll see how much gold I get out of it. Been at this for a while now, got quite a collection of filters. I know there's some gold in there. I can actually see visible gold powder on some things. That one right there has got some brown powder on it. I'm pretty sure that's gold. And, uh, you know, I try to wash all the chlorouric acid out of uh, the filters when I use them, but I'm sure some remain. So we'll see how much gold's in there. It should be interesting to find out. Plus, you know, I'm just tired of storing them. So get rid of all of them. All right, that's starting to get good and hot finally and dry out and char a little bit. This foundry gets things hot quick. I love it. Okay, the first batch of stuff cooked down enough that I could add the, uh, the rest of it on top. So now I've got all my filters and uh, dirty rags and stuff in there that might contain gold and it's all, it's all cooking down. I hope I get this done before the rain comes. So it was a beautiful morning, and now the rain clouds are rolling in. So hopefully I can get this done before uh, it starts raining and the wind gets up. Otherwise I'll have to abort this and throw the hot pan somewhere and, and uh, wait out the rain. It's got kind of an odd smell to it. It kind of smells like um, burnt fireworks. Must be the uh, the nitrate salts in the uh, in the paper causing that, I would imagine. Because it's kind of got that burnt fireworks smell. It doesn't smell like paper burning. And uh, strange colors of flame coming off of the paper too as it burns. There's greens and blues, different metallic salts in there, I'm sure. So very interesting. All right, this stuff is pretty well ashed up. The volume is greatly reduced. It's dry. I think it's time to get it into a beaker and uh, start processing it. All right, the ashes are in a beaker. I'm gonna add a few hundred milliliters of uh, hydrochloric acid and get this on the heat, start warming it up. Actually, about, I guess, 300 milliliters for now. First real project for my new fume hood. Turn the heat up. Get that warming up. And then once it's warmed up, I'll start adding some of my homemade nitric acid to it and uh, we'll see what we can dissolve out of those ashes. I know there's some gold in there. Not sure how much, but I know there's some. So this should be interesting. Alright, the ashes have been soaking in the hydrochloric acid for a while. They've had a chance to heat up. I'll tell you, my new fume hood's working great. Um, I haven't even got a whiff of the uh, of the hydrochloric acid in there as it's been uh, cooking away, so that's great. But uh, it's had a chance to warm up, so I'm going to start adding a little bit of nitric to it. 
I'm not going to go nuts with this because I'm afraid of boil over. Yeah, look at that. Get my arm out of the way. Look at how strong a reaction I get when I stick put that in there. Yeah. So that's just one pipette full. Ooh, I'm glad I was conservative. Shut the door a little bit. Keep the fumes in. That's just one pipette of nitric acid. And look what that did. So I'll let that cook for a while before I add any more. That's pretty extreme reaction. The windows on the fume hood are fogging up a little bit. Hopefully it won't get too bad. Alright, the reaction from the first edition of nitric acid has uh, come to a halt. I'm going to put a little more in. I'm going to put about half the amount I put in before. Being real conservative here. I don't want to have a boil over. That's why I'm using such a large beaker too. I always use a beaker that's Bigger than I think I'm going to need, just for that reason right there. That was about one and a quarter milliliters, and look what happened. Let me get the rest of it in there. So, got to be real conservative with the nitric acid additions here. Or I can see this boiling over real easy. Alright, I did a couple more small additions of acid off camera. And um, the reaction was getting less and less vigorous each time. So it's been a while now. There's no more brown fumes being evolved. I'm going to put a little more in and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Just a little bit of foaming. Remember those first couple I put in, uh, it practically wanted to foam over. So the reaction's definitely uh, dying down with each addition of acid. Probably getting close to having all the metal in there in the solution. So I'll wait till this reaction dies down and uh, give it another shot or two until it looks like. Uh, it's pretty much done and I will do a stannous chloride test on it and see uh, what kind of gold we got in solution. I still need to be real conservative with my acid additions because uh, it's been a while since I last put any acid in there and the reaction has gotten kind of vigorous again all of a sudden so there, there can be a delay between the time I add acid to it and the, the reaction taking off. It can, it can lull me into a false sense of security and um, adding too much acid and the result can be a big foam up so I'm going to be real conservative with my acid additions because sometimes nothing much happens at first and it takes a few minutes before the foamage begins. Right, this has been sitting on here cooking for probably close to a half an hour and I've still got brown fumes coming out of it so I haven't added any more acid. I'm just going to let it sit there and cook until there's no more brown fumes. Because if there's uh, brown fumes coming out then there's, there's nitric acid in there that's reacting with something. So I'm just going to let it sit for a while. Yeah, this reaction actually seems to be going pretty well and uh, without drama. It's a good test for my new fume hood. Finally getting to use it. Keeping the fumes out of my face. Beautiful thing. And I've been wanting to process these filters for a while. They built up a lot. Um, like I said, I had three mason jars full of them and they were just stuffed as full as I could get them. I couldn't get anything else in them. It was time to do something with them. Besides, I could use a little more gold. I took all the gold I had accumulated down to the jewelry store yesterday and sold it. And um, nothing motivates me to get back to work like somebody handing me a big pile of money. So I need more gold because I want to make more money. So 
I'm going to hit the low hanging fruit first, the filters, then work on other stuff. Okay, it's been a while longer. Things have really slowed down here. The brown fumes pretty much have stopped being evolved. I'm going to give it another small shot of nitric acid and see if we get any real reaction out of it. There's a little bit of a reaction, but not much. I'm not going to add any more in case it's a delayed reaction. I'm going to let that sit a while and cook. And then um, I give it about 15 20 minutes because I'm in the middle of another project. And then when I get a break in that project, I'll come over here and do a stainless chloride test on it. And we'll see what, if anything, we got in solution. All right, it's been about, I don't know, 10 15 minutes. Nothing much going on in here. Time to do a stainless chloride test. Kind of ashy. enough liquid here to uh, get a good test. It's already kind of brown, but oh yeah, look at that dark, dark black. There's a lot of gold in solution in there. Excellent. Excellent. That's just what I wanted to see. Lots of gold. All right. All right, I don't know if it needs it or not, but I think what I'm gonna do is add one more shot of nitric acid to it, just to make sure everything has gone into solution. Uh, there's hardly any reaction, almost nothing. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking everything is in, that's gonna go into solution has gone. So I'll just let that, cook for a bit. Stir it up a little here. Just let that cook for a bit and then uh, come out and deal with it. Alright, I'm calling this reaction done. I am going to denox it with some sulfuric, sulfamic acid. Sorry, sulfamic acid. Now this may be very foamy because I may have an excess of nitric in there. So I'm going to put in just a little bit at a time. Oh yeah. Yeah, just a little bit at a time because this can get really foamy if you've got a bad excess of nitric acid. bit more. Well that really didn't produce much of a reaction at all. I guess we're pretty much denoxed. bit more just to be sure. Nothing. All right, good. We're denoxed. Now, as a side effect of using sulfamic acid for this, the sulfamic acid reacts with the nitric to destroy it, but the, what it produces is sulfuric acid. So I don't have to add sulfuric acid to this to get any lead to precipitate out because I use sulfamic acid to denox it. It's kind of a bonus. All right, I'm gonna get set up to filter this. Okay, I'm filtering this stuff and there's a lot of really nasty solids in it. So I'm doing my usual super filtration trick. I got a couple layers of coffee filters in the funnel and then I have 
cotton ball stuffed in the neck of the funnel to try and catch as much of the solids as I can because a lot of stuff goes right through the pores in the coffee filters. It's coming over reasonably clean. I wouldn't say it's super clean, but it's reasonably clean. But considering how dirty and nasty this stuff is, that's an amazing job of filtration. So I'm going to get the rest of this stuff in the filter and I'll wash everything out of the beaker into the filter and um, I'll continue washing down the filter after that with uh, distilled water until I get all the color out of it. And look, I've got new filters already to go into my used filter jar. I just cleaned those out. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, we're all filtered. I've got some uh, sodium metabisulfite solution here that I'm ready to drop the gold with. I'm going to give this a good stir. Now I'm expecting this could be a pretty ugly gold drop. Um, some nastiness dissolved in there. So, on the bright side, at least it's happening inside my new fume hood. to smell the sulfur dioxide gas. There might not be enough sodium metabisulfite. I thought I'd used plenty. And there's a bit of a color change, but let me hit it with a little powder since I've got some right here. Alright, add a little bit more to it. Oh, it's so nice to do this without big clouds of sulfur dioxide coming out in my face. That's more the color change we're looking for. It just needed a touch more. I'll let that sit on there and settle out. Alright, I dropped the gold, and this has been sitting a while. And the liquid has darkened a lot, which I don't quite understand. I'm not sure what sort of chemical reaction caused that. Uh, I would suspect colloidal gold that just isn't settling, but the liquid was lighter than this before. Unless, you know, more gold came out of solution and it's very, very, very fine, which I suppose is possible. It's a little bit of gold floating on top of the liquid. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. I can see there's a pile of gold and a heavy dusting of it on the bottom of the beaker. It's hard to be sure just how much gold's there. What I'm probably going to have to do is filter this and see if I can catch that all the gold in here, including any very, very fine gold um, on uh, cotton balls stuffed in the neck of a funnel and then uh, redissolve this gold in aqua regia, including the cotton balls. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Because I'm suspicious there may be some colloidal gold in there. We'll see. Okay, I've got filtration going on it, but it's going to go really, really slow because I've really got the neck of this funnel stuffed tight with cotton balls to try and get out everything in the solution. It's coming through a lot, a lot clearer. And now that I've decanted off some of the liquid, I can see through it. There's a fair amount of gold on the bottom, and there's some floating on the top, too. So, it looks like there's a, there's a reasonable amount of gold that dropped in here. And I've been thinking about why I might have this colloidal gold problem. Um, one thing I do, I've seen other people doing it online and I thought it was, a, you know, on YouTube and I thought it was a really good idea. Every time I do a stannous chloride test, I'll put the, res the remains of it in with my um, used gold filters. So, you know, there's a few drops of liquid. You know, I figure there's gold in that. Why throw it away? So I put it in with the gold filters. Well, that means I'm also putting stannous chloride in with the gold. And that may be why when I process the filters, I got what looks like colloidal gold happening here because I've got uh, I've got tin mixed in with the uh, with the gold and that's what'll happen so 
we'll see here what the filter looks like. It's, it's going to be really slow. I don't know. It may go right through the coffee filters and only get caught on the cotton balls in there. But uh, there, there's some big gold in here, too. And I'm not exactly sure that all that stuff floating is actually gold. Some of it's pretty light-colored. I don't know. Some kind of crystal swarming on the surface, maybe. Maybe gold, maybe not. It's hard to say in this light. But I'm going to get it all filtered, and then I'm going to redissolve the filters in uh, fresh aqua regia. In fact, I may do it twice, just to make sure I get pure gold out of this. Alright, the filtration is complete, and there's definitely something besides just gold on the filter. I don't know what it is. I'm going to try uh, rinsing the filter with some hydrochloric acid. I want to try and get the gold as clean as possible before I redissolve it, just so whatever this stuff is doesn't come over with it. So, I'll do that off camera so I can use both hands. Well, it's some ugly looking gold. After um, even rinsing it with hydrochloric acid didn't seem to make much difference. And it's fuming so bad because it's raining and it's really humid out here. But I'm going to transfer the filters to this beaker and I'm going to redissolve everything in aqua region and see if I can clean this stuff up because it's heavily contaminated with something. I don't know what, but it's contaminated with something. Alright, I'm going to redissolve the gold, filters and all, in aqua region. I just put it on the heat and I've got uh, a couple hundred milliliters of hydrochloric acid in there. I'm going to put a couple squirts of uh, nitric acid in. Let it warm up. And the gold filters and everything ought to dissolve in that. Ooh, I'm not, I'm wearing, I'm not wearing my gloves. I'm a bad boy. So we'll let that yeah, get reaction going already. Get that bubbling away in there. Let that uh, let that cook a while. Shouldn't take long for that to dissolve. All right, it's like two squirts of uh, nitric acid were enough to get a serious reaction going here. It's hard to tell in there past uh, the condensation and the orange fumes, but. Uh, the uh, filter and the, the cotton balls are starting to fall apart and the gold is dissolving nicely so good get this to dissolve refilter it and re-precipitate it and hopefully whatever that other stuff was that came over last time doesn't come over again I don't know what that was but it was nasty looking and I couldn't get it to dissolve all right, I have uh, redissolved the gold from the filters, and um, I'm going to filter it again. This looks like a lot cleaner solution. I mean, it's it's the color of chlorauric acid. Yeah, it's got lots of uh, lots of filter material floating in it, but it's it's clean. It's clean, and there's no solids in it like the first time around. So I'm I'm not even bothered with coffee filters. I'm just going to filter it through a few cotton balls in the base of this funnel and uh, should get a good clean filtrate and uh, end up have a good clean gold drop we'll see let me get to filtering all right maybe the third time will be the charm for uh, precipitating this gold from these filters uh, the first two times um, some uh, white crystals formed with the gold, and I don't know what it was. And I'm having trouble separating it from the gold. Um, this last time, I boiled the gold with a lot of uh, with an excess of uh, distilled water, and all the white crystals went away. Then I filtered the gold and I redissolved it, and now I'm about to reprecipitate it again. And hopefully, this time, I'll just get gold. We'll see. I'm 
There's the color change. Okay. We'll see if I just get gold this time. Finally, just the gold. Well, there it is. A little over half a gram. I think as I said at the beginning of this, it was going to be the low-hanging fruit. I was going to start with uh, the easy stuff and processing my filters. Turned out to be not so easy after all. Had to um, dissolve and uh, precipitate this gold three times to get it clean. There was something tenacious some sort of contaminant that was uh, preventing the gold from uh, dropping nicely and uh, making white crystals that were uh, coming out with the gold. Don't know what it was. Finally got rid of it. And uh, finally, finally got some clean looking gold after three, uh, three drops. So a little over half a gram. Not as much as I'd hoped, but hey, it's free gold. Don't want to throw it away with the filters. And uh, the air is buffeting the... Uh, Air from the air conditioning is buffeting the scale a little bit, so it's bouncing around a bit. So anyway, it was a hard-fought battle. It wasn't low-hanging fruit after all, but I finally got it, got it done. Filters processed, got some gold. Thanks for watching.